a couple of years ago, a friend who runs a room, uh, Lisa Dib. Lisa Dib. You know yep. her? Yep. She's a big player in the scene. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know if that's true. She she's a big player in my scene, and she um, yeah, she she signed me up and said, hey, you're on, uh, next month. No Get way. Five minutes ready. Because I've been talking about it for so long, and and I wanted to do it. I was just you know a bit um, a bit soft. I can't. You can't say pussy anymore because it's like sexist, and you I can't. can't say, what's yeah. what's the PC uh, Jacob PC version of pussy? Soft cock. Soft cock. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I was too much of a soft cock. <laughs> I've been getting into the idea of karma lately, you know, what, what goes around comes around. I, I think it's a really nice idea, you know, good things happen to good people, that's nice, right? But my favourite thing about karma is that since bad things happen to bad people, I no longer have to feel guilty about doing bad things anymore, you know, because <laughs> people have it coming to them, right? <laughs> it, was, it was like the other day when I... Um, I accidentally reversed into my elderly neighbour's car and I did quite a lot of damage. I remember thinking to myself, oh no, Gerald must be some sort of a deviant. <laughs> and and that, 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 that was really surprising to me, you know, because he, he's always been seen as a real upstanding member of the community. He's, he's always been particularly nice to me, but unfortunately my fears were confirmed later that night when I threw a rock through his kitchen window. <laughs> I know. Because then I knew that Gerald's a bad man and that karma's a bitch. My whole personality now is built around the fact that I won Raw last year. Yeah, right. I'm nothing without it. How has your life changed? Um, Since? Like I got a trophy. You're right. <laughs> and I um, uh, went to, I got, well, I got, a fl I got flights to Edinburgh. That was pretty cool. Ooh. And I guess that's, that changed my life. For that month, you because I was in a different place. Wait, so are you a trainee? Are you just working? Nah, but I'm a salesman. Oh. It's my sales outfit. Uh, you know those slick salesmen you've heard all about? Yeah. yeah I'm one of them. Oh no shit. Yeah. For the air conditioning. Yeah. You're the salesman. I'm the salesman. I thought you fixed it. I thought you had technical skills. No, nah, no skills at all. Is that why you think you could, like you're good at just talking to people? Uh. Or do you think you're good at talking to people? I don't think I'm not good. No. Yeah. I think. I think any of the skills I have in that job is that people are like, well, he's clearly not a bullshitting. Like, he's not he's not lying at least because he's so unslick. Yeah. What's, what's the, there's got to be a better word than unslick. He's so like, I know calm. Is this we're gonna pretend to walk in here? No, I think he's just getting something. <laughs> we don't have those in Brisbane. <laughs> this is the grand champion of Raw. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome to the stage, Matt Stewart. Thank you. Thank you very much. Hey, I, um, I don't know if you can tell by looking at me. Hey, man, how's it going? I don't know if you can tell by looking at me, but I am a man who is full of regret. Right? <laughs> You can probably tell by looking at me, right? I, um, I'm so full of regret that I, I constantly am, am taking down my regrets in my notepad and I'm going to read some of them to you here tonight, if that's okay. <laughs> These are my regrets. <laughs> I never got to say goodbye to my granddad before he died. That's a genuine regret. I drove here tonight and on the way I hit traffic. Um, the lane I was going in started going really slowly and the lane next to me was going a lot quicker. So I switched lanes, but then the lane I moved into started going really slowly and <laughs> the lane I came from started speeding up. It probably cost me a good couple of minutes travel time. I regret that. Hell of a beard, thank you. Yeah. Mesmerising. Thank you very much. I, I, Your beard's nice as well. Thanks. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we have. Have we talked about Comedy Zone yet? Oh, let's do it. 
What do you want to talk about? How what do I want to talk it, about? Gone? You're the one with the steering wheel, it's man. That's true. It's, um, it's good. You, know, you when can choose like, the music. Normally you sit on a couch, right? Yeah. And it's just like, you're not thinking about how you're doing it. I've been doing that. Have yeah. you been, but now I'm, I'm like really thinking about this and yeah. I can't remember how I would do this yeah. normally. I regret that I never learnt how to read or write. <laughs> so, um, I, think, I think that's what that says. <laughs> when I was younger I was around at my uncle's playing with toys and, uh, and my dad said to me, hey Matt we gotta go. I said, I don't wanna go dad. And he said, come on mate, we gotta go. I said, I, I don't wanna. And he said, Come on, pack up the toys, we gotta go. I said, I don't wanna pack up the toys. He said, come on, mate, pack up the toys, it'll only take a few sex, right? I said, oh, a few sex? Well, like you and mum do every night, right? <laughs> and my, my dad sort of looked up from me and looked over at my Uncle John, and my Uncle John looked back at him. And then my dad sort of nodded at John, and my Uncle John nodded back at him, and then my dad gave John a wink. <laughs> And, uh, my Uncle John winked back at him. Anyway, I regret that. <laughs> Finally, I regret that I haven't lived my life the way that I've wanted to, which is without regret. Cool. Thank you. <laughs> They're my regrets. <laughs> Sometimes people applaud, that's okay. It's a weird reaction to applaud regret, so I appreciate. <laughs> Laughter's weird too, actually. <laughs> Often that's just complete silence. <laughs> that's cool. Um, do you want to pick a question? Or? Yeah. Right. Okay, let's see what we've got. Hmm. <laughs> These are pretty shit. Yeah, I know. Pre -show How do I get in the zone? Yeah. What I normally do is shit myself. <laughs> Some of the things that you'd like to um, begin class clown, yeah. get in raw uh, style of comedy, favorite experience, heckler. I'm holding my breath. Alright, that's beautiful. Ah, experimental. It's awkward for everyone. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know where to go. How much of this do you need to be able to use? <laughs> like, because I have said a lot of words, and I feel like you could piece them into some pretty yeah. good sentences. Matt Stewart, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Unfortunately, that brings us to the end of the show. Give it up for all the acts. Let's bring them back out and let's say goodbye. Ladies and gentlemen, Matt Ford, Nina Oyama, Matt Stewart, and Kieran Lyons. Thank you guys for coming. Uh, we're here all month. Tell your friends. Come back if you want. Thank you very much. Have a good night.